this looks like. This is what a feminist looks like. We're here today because of the power of women. The power of women to come up with good ideas like this rally. Boston was overflowing with people on Saturday as more than 170,000 gathered to attend the Women's March held at the Boston Commons in support of women's rights and, from the looks of it, in resistance to President Trump as well. I'm here to celebrate the diversity of America and the democracy that guarantees us our right to assemble peacefully and to protest because that's not available in many places in the world. Because we felt we needed to take a stand against a whole lot of things that seem like they're going to be turned around to the opposite of what really should be happening, thanks to Trump. So we're here to stand for climate and LGBT rights. Marchers included Massachusetts Representative Joe Kennedy, who led Planned Parenthood's contingent of marchers and held an intimate rally of his own before marching. To stand up and to show Donald Trump and his administration, what it means when you say we got each other's back. Out of all the organizations, why did you decide to march with Planned Parenthood today? Planned Parenthood stands for uh, access to health care, it stands for women's rights, it stands for making sure that we all look out for each other and care for each other. Uh, being here today with so many hundreds of other volunteers standing up, standing for what we believe in, I thought was very important. One thing I can thank Donald Trump for is for bringing all these people together here because I've never felt such energy before in my life. I was very angry when Trump was elected. But I really believe today needs to be about tolerance and that means for our leader as well. Now we can whimper, we can whine, or we can fight back. Me, I'm here to fight back. I just felt like this is a moment. This is like one of those great times when people finally rise up and come together. And I just wanted to be part of it. Did you ever think that you were going to live through a protest or a march like this? If you had asked me five years ago, no. but. Ever since I started college, yeah. And I'm kind of glad that I get to keep being a part of them. From Brookline Interactive Group, this is Monique Avila.